today we have heard the honorable prime minister's response to the presidential address it was very 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 disappointing it was a rhetoric speech given by him hundreds of tactfully not even taking mr adani's name or not even referring to the and middle class people of this country honorable prime minister had spoken for an hour hour and nothing but a repetitive rhetorical and filled with satire on opposition the opposition will not redeem you of your responsibilities that honorable prime minister should really tackle the opposition if you just want to put a garb of nationalism and hide behind by saying that whatever you tell me that is not going to affect i really hope that the country is keenly watching you and in the next elections certainly people will reflect it in the coming elections that is my sincere hope and when, while hearing the honorable prime minister it is very interesting to note that he very comfortably tells lies and white lies that was uh, conceptualized by our leader honorable ksr garu called raitu incentives to farmers for two crops in a year 10000 rupees per acre this government and it is called pm kisan yojana kisan uh, kisan yojana and they call it a flag when they launched it they said the central government will give 6000 per year in free installment each installment to 11.84 crores farmers in this country and then at 11.84 all of us were happy <coughs> then very smartly year by year the number declined uh, crore farmers to 9.8 crores to 9.3 to 8.5 ultimately this year crores farmer families have received this incentive in this country when the fact of the matter is that number has come down to 3.87 and honorable prime minister just 20 minutes back standing in the parliament openly we are giving the money to 11 crore farmers this is what we are talking about this is what we want to highlight blatant capability of honorable prime minister to speak white lies in the parliament and it is not a great trend in democracy if you believe that you can lie in parliament and still come back to power or again arrogance honorable modi ji you should please try and speak truth at least now and the other opposition parties even talking about mr adani's fiasco um se mr adani becomes the second richest man in this in the world is a various governments projects various infrastructure projects very strategic ports airports his death with various crucial infrastructure projects today in this country now when such an enterprise <coughs> takes a hit this 10 lakh crores in 10 days it will be the subject of matter of people of this country today brs party has been constantly demanding that kindly put a joint parliamentary committee probe into the in honorable modi ji if you are not corrupt as you claimed if you are if your biggest plank if that is right and you are sticking to it we still demand from brs party please form a joint parliamentary committee. with a sitting supreme court judge please form a special investigative committee दूध का दूध पानी का पानी हो जाए दस लाख करोड़ गया है यहाँ पे बीस पच्चीस जर्नलिस्ट है हमारे कैमरामैन मित्र है हमारे स्टाफ में भी बहुत लोग हैं। 
a person who earns 25000 today in this country has lost 10 10000 15 one of my staff member said he lost 8000 when he looked at his shares yesterday <laughs> lic is our company lic is india's company it is not a private enterprise if lic invest 80000 crores in mr adani company is taking a hit and lic is taking a hit it is our people who are getting affected you don't have to answer to the opposition answer to the people of this country this is our demand and if you just want to conveniently given or conveniently hide behind the national flag then time will only have to decide but brs they understand that what is the status of state bank of india which has given 27000 crores loan to mr adan bank of baroda punjab national bank who gave 5380 and 7000 crores respectively what is the plan of the government to bail out these banks will you again bail out adani ji will you again aapne apne dusre mitron ka 11 lakh crore maaf kiya tha pichle 8 saalon mein adani ji इंटरट्वाइन हो गए दोनों नाम अब प्रधानी अदानी बोलने से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ने वाला <laughs> देश में सब कोई जान चुका है एक ही सिक्के के दो चेहरे हैं अगर आप अपने आप को ऐसे एक क्रोनी कैपिटलिज्म के इमेज से दूर करना रिक्वेस्ट कर रही हूँ बी आर एस तरफ से डिमांड कर रही हूँ कि प्लीज पुट ए ज्वाइंट पार्लियामेंट्री कमिटी आवर ऑनरेबल एम पी वर्कडाउट दे वॉल्सो वर्कडाउट ड्यूरिंग द ऑनरेबल प्रेजिडेंट्स एड्रेस to register the protest because of this country we demand that you give an answer to the country thank you jai telangana jai bharat ma'am what do you have to say during the prime minister's address ab kare bhi to kya kare kitne tarike se bataya we been asking we been funding we been airing views at every platform the honorable prime minister just wants to conveniently ignore everything and fashion with a lot of poetry and satirical quotations baaton se miti miti baaton se kaam nahi banti hai the time has passed show some metal show some steel thoda sachcha ise kaam lijiye pradhan mantri ji jpc ka gathan kar dijiye pradhan mantri ji ne apne bhashan dekhe 2014 tak hotalon ka dashak raha hai unka kya hai apne indirectly wo keh rahe hain ki is period mein jab vipaksh क्या है उनका हिसाब किताब आप कैसे ले रहे हो उनके ऊपर आप क्या कर रहे हो वट इज दट एक्शन दट यू आर टेकिंग ऑन दिस फेल्यूर्स अरे यूपीए का फेल्यूर था इसीलिए लोगों ने जनता ने आपको चुना है तो आप क्या कर रहे हो आप भी उन्हीं के रस्ते में पढ़ रहे हो एंड इफ यू हैव नथिंग टू डू विद मिस्टर अदानी जी एंड कंपनीज काइंडली काइंडली फॉर्म अ जेपीसी शो दिस कंट्री यू आर नॉट करप्ट इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग इट देन वी हैव टू बिलीव पीपल ऑफ दिस कंट्री विल बिलीव की एक और चीज उन्होंने कही कि विपक्ष जो है आज एक कट्टा इसलिए हुआ है क्योंकि उनके खिलाफ ईडी और अन्य जांच एजेंसियों का एक साथ आके उनको टारगेट कर रहा है लेकिन उनके पास देश की एक सौ चालीस करोड़ देश की जनता का सुरक्षा करो देखिए देश वो भक्तों को बचाना चाहते हैं तो वो लोग समझ चुके हैं तो क्रिटिसाइजिंग प्राइम मिनिस्टर definitely we are requesting today we are demanding today as a political party as a citizen of this country we have every right class of this country the poorest of the poor people of this country today will be affected by this is our reading prove us wrong experts in there put some parliamentarians prove us wrong lekin take an action take step because he maine pure bhashan mein suna hai unhone we are a decisive government kindly take a decision to put a form a jpc if you are not doing that that means and we will future course of action abhi aaj iska kya hoga parliament session parliament ke andar parliament ke bahar kaise aap aaye unhone zikr bhi nahi kiya 
जो भी आप जिस मुद्दे पे आप जेपीसी के डिमांड कर रहे हो उसका जिक्र भी नहीं किया है तो अब आपका क्या एक्शन फ्यूचर walked out today few other parties i believe also have walked out and i believe there is going to be a meeting of all the parties today brs will take a decision by tonight and then we will meet uh, brs will stand united uh, brs believe in like uh, fighting alone or individually or united opposition hum pichle 7 dinon se is mudde pe during the president's address we walked out today also and our demand has been continuously to form a jpc we have boycotted the debate that shows our commitment to towards this particular issue and we demand that the honorable prime minister and the open and tell the people prove it to the people of this country that they are not corrupt thank you